make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Also, subscribe to Profit Google on Patreon. Now let's hurt some feelings and get to this video. Jesus is God. You want to show it to me in the Bible? Show it to me in the Bible. You don't have it in the Bible because it's not in the Bible. Some may ask, why do we not find statements such as Jesus saying, I am God throughout the New Testament writings? The title is not used repeatedly because the identity of Jesus taught by the New Testament is that of God the Son in relation to his Father and the Spirit, thus preserving Trinitarian relations. The God of the Bible is a triune God, and repeated use of the title Theos could lead to confusion. Normally in the New Testament, Theos refers to God the Father, and in Trinitarian formulas, God always denotes the Father, never the Son or the Spirit. Check 2 Corinthians 13, 14. The New Testament repeatedly distinguishes the Father, Son, and Spirit, while also affirming the full equality of each of the persons of the Godhead. That is why, in the solutions of many New Testament letters, God is distinguished from the Lord Jesus. As a result of this distinction, Theos virtually becomes a proper name for God the Father. Thus, if Theos were used in reference to the Son as his proper name as well, linguistic ambiguity would emerge. For example, how could one make sense of 2 Corinthians 5.19, God was in God, reconciling the world to himself, in order to preserve this personal distinctions within the Godhead? Theos predominantly denotes the Father and the Son. I'm just keeping it a hundred. Muhammad was a Christian? When did you? Khatija was not a Christian. Come bring me some proof. Khatija was Christian? There is no... Name priest and prophet. Okay, but, but listen to me. Here. Here's a Bible. Show me where Jesus is God, I'll believe you. Here's a Bible. I've read the whole Bible. I've read. I'm challenging right now. If you, if you show me one time in the Bible, Jesus is God, I'll believe you. Now let us use Uthman's logic. Where in the Quran does Asa say, I am the Messiah, in those exact words, when he doesn't? Is it rather fair to say there are texts in the Quran that strongly prove Islam teaches the Messiahship of Asa, but just not in the way we demand? Of course they are. Therefore, to be consistent, Uthman must apply this approach to the Bible, or else he is left employing double standards. Just because Jesus doesn't say, I am God, it doesn't mean his deity is not communicated in equally clear ways that have persuaded Christians for 2,000 years. In like manner, just because Asa in the Quran doesn't say, I am the Messiah in those exact words, it doesn't mean his messiahship is not communicated in equally clear ways in the Quran. I'm just keeping it 100. Who, 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 who was Jesus praying to on the cross? Who was Jesus to himself? He was saying, oh God, you've forsaken me? When Jesus says, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? He is, as you no doubt already know, quoting from Psalms 22. This is important to understand because Psalms 22 is a prophecy of Jesus' crucifixion, the rejection of the Messiah by the people, the insults they hurled at him on the cross, the pain of the crucifixion, the piercing of his hands and feet, the dividing up of his clothes, are just some of the more obvious parallels this psalm prophecies. Jesus knew exactly what was going to happen to him because he understood this psalms and how it applied to his death on our behalf. By quoting Psalms 22, our Lord makes this clear and makes it clear to all who would later hear these words of his that he was well aware that he would have to die on our behalf in order to save us. For this reason, he came into this world. I'm not going to take a page out of Uthman's book and say he's ignorant, because it's obvious. If someone who read the Bible like Uthman claims he did, would obviously know that Jesus was quoting Psalms 22, a prophecy about him. So I would say Uthman is deceiving his Muslim brothers and sisters, and also everyone else he speaks to. Let's take a look at Psalms 22. My God. My God. Why? Have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me? So far from my cries of anguish? Oh my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, but I find no rest. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the one Israel praises. In you our ancestors put their trust, they trusted and you delivered them. 
To you they cried out and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. Yet you brought me out of the womb. You made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast on you. From my mother's womb you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls surround me. Strong bulls of Bashan encircle me. Roaring lions that tear their prey open their mouths wide against me. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart has turned to wax. It has melted within me. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to the roof of my mouth. You lay me in the dust of death. Dogs surround me. A pack of villains encircles me. They pierce my hands and my feet. All my bones are on display. People stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes among them and cast lots for my garment. But you, Lord, do not be far from me. You are my strength. Come quickly to help me. Deliver me from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dogs. Rescue me from the mouth of the lions. Save me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will declare your name to my people. In the assembly I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you descendants of Jacob, honor him, revere him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised or scorned the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will bow down before him, for dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness, declaring to a people yet unborn, he has done it. I've read the whole Bible. I've read the whole Bible. I've read the whole Bible. As my brother Jai would say, come to Jesus before it's too late. He is the only way. Muhammad is a false prophet. Until next time, this is Prophet Google, giving the believers a dose of their false prophet getting exposed. I'm just keeping it 100. Thank you.